Hello my chariots, welcome back to my channel. This is for Gemini. This is Gemini's love reading for November 2020. We will look at your energy, your person's energy. We'll pull a couple oracle cards and then we'll pull some messages from my orange pitcher. I hope everybody is safe and healthy and doing well. I can't believe we're headed into November already. Time is flying. Soon it will be Christmas. But never mind that, let's get a look at what's in store for Gemini for the month of November 2020, please. Spirit, can I please see cards on Gemini's energy and their person's energy? We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the world, combined energies. We have, okay, this is an extra card that comes in this deck. It's not numbered and it doesn't have a name, but when you look at it, it is a, a picture of a woman with the children around her in a home, all comfy. So I will read that intuitively. We'll see what that is. And then also, the Nine of Cups as well. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Wow, okay. Gemini, let me get a read and see what is going on here for the month of November. What I am getting at, Gemini, for the month of November for you, there, I believe, is going to be new beginnings, new opportunities. Uh, the overall energy that I am getting for this reading is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is all about fast movement. Uh, fast movement, fast-paced action. Eight of Wands can also represent long distance. So for some of you, you might be apart from the person that you're thinking about. Uh, you might not be in the same physical location. But I feel that there is just this sense of overwhelming wanting to start a new cycle. On the one side here, we have someone that is in both the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups energy. Uh, the Ten of Wands is all about burden, uh, carrying responsibility, heavy workload, feeling tired, overwhelmed. Uh, the good news is this is a card of ten, and ten means completion, end of a cycle. So this person that has been feeling that they've been in a state of overload, they've had a lot um, to do, They've had a lot on their mind. They've been carrying a lot with them. That is coming to an end. And we have the Ten of Cups here, which is just the complete self-emotional fulfillment. And I believe that's how this person feels when it comes to this connection. They are just finding that you bring them such great joy and happiness. And that that this connection is what it's all about. And they are finally ready to let go of whatever this is that they've been carrying with them for so long. On the other side here, whether it's you or your person, take the energies as they resonate. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the world. So again, the world is also a completion and, you know, a new beginning, a new cycle. I feel that this person is very determined to ensure that this connection, this relationship, or the situation, partnership, whatever it is at the moment to you, is working. And they are putting in 100% effort to ensure that it continues. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow energy. It's the slowest energy of all the knights in the deck, but you can rely on the person that's in this Knight of Pentacle energies, you can count on them. They're honorable, they're loyal, 
and they want to see things through the right way until the end. And in addition, as I said, we have this world card here, and I just feel that, literally speaking, this person thinks the world of you, Gemini. They just completely have this energy of they can't find anyone better than you right right now they 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 just feel complete bliss on top of that the combined energy is the nine of cups and then we have this additional card in this deck this is the centennial uh edition of this Waitsmith uh, tarot card deck that I'm using. So it doesn't have a name, but what I'm getting at is with the Nine of Cups, that is all about self-fulfillment. We have the number nine here. So the nine always represents self. And in this case, since we're dealing with cups, this is just complete 100% emotional fulfillment when it comes to the person, uh, both of you. You just feel within yourselves, you are completely happy and satisfied with the other person since this is falling under the combined energies. Both of you just feel so happy and so content with the opposite that uh, they can't see, you, you. both of you can't see being with anyone else. You're just completely uh, ecstatic and uh, self-fulfilled and self contentment has just overtaken both of you when it comes to this connection. And then additionally, we have this picture here. And I was saying it's this woman with her children um, at home in, you know, she's sitting in a chair with, you know, and there's the children are sitting around her. And it's just this homey feeling I get when I look at this card. So I feel like the both of you are thinking about family whether you want to have children together or not, or you just want to create that sense of home, that hominess, that coziness. Both of you just feel that when you're uh, connected with the other person. So this is just a beautiful energy that I'm picking up for you, Gemini. Uh, as again, the overall energy is this fast, this fast paced, uh, fast movement. So I feel like there's going to be definitely some kind of, you know, ending to a cycle since we have the world here and we have this 10 of wands here in addition to the 10 of cups. And I think the month of November is going to be a very positive one for you and something to look forward to. And oh my God, even Below the Eight of Wands here, I'm looking, look, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Oh my God, that, that's a match. That's just a complete, this is the match. This is, this is the both of you. You're both in a King and Queen of Pentacles. And the King and Queen of Pentacles is all about that physical, material world, grounding this connection, this relationship, and just enjoying, um, everything that the both of you have together um, with each other. Uh, very beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll also just pull two cards from Angel Answers and see what the angels have as a message for you. And then we'll pull some um, also extra messages to see if anything resonates with you from my picture there. I have everything in there from numbers to letters, zodiac signs, messages from your person, character traits. So we'll see what's going on there too. So let's have two cards, please, Spirit, for Gemini for November 2020. What do they need to know? Let go. And yes. And on the bottom of the deck, it says no need to worry. So Gemini, you know, whatever you or your person has been going through as far as this 10 of wands, I think it's safe to say that you or them, they can let go and let that uh, in the past release it 
we have yes here, so, and I mean yes with an exclamation point, and in this deck, when you see the exclamation point, that means absolutely, definitely. So I just feel that overall, yes, you are going to have a wonderful month for November of pure happiness and, you know, feel good about it and take some time to enjoy one another because you two really, really seem to be happy with one another. So then let me just pull some things here out of my picture and we'll see if anything resonates. Oh wow, that's a lot. My goodness. All right, let's see what we have here. Kind. We have the number four. We have warm-hearted. We have the letter J. We have the number three. We have stubborn. We have Q. I just heard quiet. Hugs and kisses. So your person is sending you hugs and kisses. We have action oriented. We have twin flames. Ooh, possibly twin flames. We have partnership. We have the letter A. We have the letter C. We have the number eight. We have the letter E, we have the letter O, the number two, the number 26, and we also have passionate. So somebody in this connection is very passionate, along with incredible. We have the number seven, we have the letter N, we have a gorgeous, so your person may find you gorgeous, ooh, that's the number. We have, let's see, sweet, we have courageous and intuitive. So Gemini, this has been, I think, a beautiful reading for you for the month of November. I hope it has resonated with you and I will see you again soon. Bye.